want you to make me a senior correspondent. Find me a story that belongs on the front page and we'll revisit this conversation. Controversy sells, scandal sells. If you get really desperate for material, I read a post about people getting their happiness certification. You can get it framed and everything. Look, we have a new participant. Oh, I don't know. Uh <laughs> Welcome, my name is Paul. Did you sign up for this class, Amy? No. <laughs> I came so far to be here, and I really need this. And that's why I'm going to make a one-time exception. Yes, bring it in. Woo! <laughs> no one knows who this guy is, and he's loaded. He teaches the program on his 100-acre estate. Clearly, this guy's hiding something. Amy, are you sure this is a good idea? Everyone has their own playbook, and this is yours. What's the honesty canoe? Your first activity. What do I want? What do you want? Befriend a random stranger. How's your day going? Better before I met you. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Amy. <laughs> Not cloud gazing, Amy. We're practicing mindfulness. <laughs> I haven't exactly been open about who I really am because I don't want it to affect how people think about me. My father is Fred Taylor. Wow. Paul Taylor, heir to the Taylor Motor Fortune, runs a secret happiness seminar on his family estate. It's good to see your sister. She's moving in with her boyfriend. I feel bad that I didn't make her a priority. Once in a while, a reminder never hurts. Did you sign us up for pottery classes? Are you getting soft on me? If you don't write this the way we discussed, I will. I didn't write that article. This class was supposed to be a safe space where everyone could trust each other. You're telling me about trust and honesty, but you haven't told a single person out there who you really are. I can't tell you what you want. Only you can figure that out. I can't work here anymore. Does someone else make you an offer? No. Are you calling out on your own? No. I really didn't write that article, Paul. I should have told you regardless. I think I've been searching for something for a really long time. You helped me realize that I've been looking in the wrong places.